If you need stock photos for any project, the cost can be very expensive. Thankfully, there are amazing websites offering high quality stock photos free of charge for both personal and commercial use. Coming up in this top 12, I'll count down the best websites to download free stock photos that you can use on your website, blog, YouTube video, or any other type of project you're working on. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number 12 is FreePick. Not only is it a great resource to find free high quality stock photos, it also lets you search for vector images, PSD files, and icons. After doing a search, there are filters along the left to narrow down your results by category, color, orientation, style, and so much more. Not all content on FreePick is actually free. To just see the free images only, under License, select Free. On the download page for this photo, and for the other websites coming up in this video, look for the license type. It says this photo has a free license, and giving credit to the author and source is required. When you click on More Info, it lets you know how you can use that image. This is a good example of a license that gives you the freedom to use that photo without too many restrictions. And speaking of restrictions, FreePick would be higher on our list if they did not have a daily limit for free users. If you don't have an account with them, there's a limit of three downloads per day. And if you do have an account, the limit goes up to 10 downloads per day. Up next, one of the newest sites in this video, coming in at number 11, is Vecteezy. In addition to stock photos, they also have a large number of high resolution vectors, PNG files, and stock videos. On the search results page for Vecteezy and many others, you'll often see large advertisements for paid services like iStock, Shutterstock, and others that can't be blocked, and below that, the actual search results. Along the left are handy filters to help find the photo that you're looking for. And just like our number 12 pick, Vecteezy uses the freemium model. To see the free photos only, under license type, select free license. On the download page, you'll see the license type here on the right. When attribution is required, click on how. This will let you know how to give attribution for the project you're working on. Click on copy below and paste the link wherever you need it. In at number 10, from the folks that created Wikipedia, is Wikimedia Commons. Often overlooked, they now have over 88 million freely usable media, including images, videos, and sounds. On their search results page, there are useful filters for license, file type, and image size. A lot of the media on this site is in the public domain, and there are various types of licenses used that can be tricky for new users to find. On the download page, scroll down, in the section for licensing, you'll get the basic details. For example, this image has a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International License. Clicking on the link will give you additional details about that license. In the number nine spot is Stock Vault. While our previous pick is focused on quantity, this site is focused on quality. With nearly 140,000 photos in their collection, the photos are well curated with images being added each day. While lacking a good number of filters, their search engine does a decent enough job of finding what you're looking for. If you're looking for inspiration, their stock collections is a great place to go to find images for your project by category. On their downloads page, the necessary information is here on the right to find the author, date uploaded, license type, dimensions of the photo, and file size. Stock Vault offers three license types, non-commercial, commercial, and Creative Commons CC0 all of which don't require attribution, but if you choose to give credit, that would be appreciated. Coming in at number eight, with the strangest name in this video, is Morgfile. Founded way back in 1996, the site was a pioneer that helped to pave the way for most of the free stock photo sites around today. Their mission was to create a free photo archive for creatives by creatives. Just like the previous site, their collections are a great way to get inspiration for your project in various categories. Their license is fairly straightforward for all their photos. They can be used for commercial purposes. And if you have not altered the image, you must credit the photographer to use it. Up next, coming in at number seven is StockSnap. This free stock photo website was created by the popular graphic design software company, Snappa. They offer an interesting selection of high quality photos with hundreds of new images added each week. In addition to their useful search feature, when gathering resources, it might also be a good idea to look at their popular categories section. 
to help give you peace of mind when selecting a photo. All images on StockSnap are governed by their generous terms of the Creative Commons CC0 license for both personal and commercial use, with no attribution required. Taking the number six spot is Burst. This website was created by the popular shopping site Shopify to help entrepreneurs make better marketing material for their business. You don't need to be a business owner to use Burst. The site is free for all for both personal and commercial use. While on this site, do check out their popular collections that just might come in handy for you one day with one of your projects. Depending on whether you're just adding basic images to a website or working on a graphic design project, they give you the choice of downloading both low and high resolution images. Some of the photos on Burst have the Creative Commons CC0 license, which I mentioned in an earlier segment, while others are protected with their own photo license. Our number five pick, the photo sharing platform Flickr, is not one many people think of for free stock photos, but it turns out that it's an excellent resource if you know how to use it. And best of all, no account is needed to download any of the images available. After doing a search, here at the top, you can easily filter by color. Over here to the right, clicking on advanced gives you additional options for orientation, size, and you can enter a date range for when that photo was taken. Not all images on Flickr are freely available for you to use. To see all that are available with a Creative Commons license, over here on the left side, click the drop down and select All Creative Commons. After selecting an image, scroll down below the photo. It's cool to show you what camera is used with additional details. Below the date the image was taken, clicking the link will give you additional details about the license. In this example, that photo has a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 2.0 generic license which means you're allowed to share in any medium or format, make changes, use for any purpose, even commercially, and attribution is required. Coming in at number four is the Adobe Stock Free Collection. Not long ago, Adobe, who is not known for giving away free stuff, made hundreds of thousands of their photos, videos, and vectors available for free for both personal and commercial use. All images are of high quality from professional photographers. You don't need to be a paying Adobe customer to use these photos. These are available to all. What is available for free is on a rotating basis, so what you might see for free now may change in the future. Most of the images you find in the Adobe Stock Free Collection carry the standard license, which grants you a lot of permissions to use as you want, with very few exceptions. Now for our top three. In other words, these are the three sites we use most often, and coming in at number three is Unsplash. Perhaps one of the most well-known of the free stock photo websites, they offer more than 3 million high-resolution curated photos donated by talented photographers. After selecting a photo, clicking the drop-down menu next to Download Free gives you a choice of the download size to best fit the needs of your project. All of the published photos on this website are released for free under the Unsplash license for both commercial and non-commercial use. Giving credit to the photographer is not required, but is appreciated. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two is Pexels. Having only been around since 2015, it's become quite popular in a very short time. All of the images are of the highest quality with hundreds of thousands to choose from. Their well-organized collections is a great place to start if you're looking for images on a specific topic. Just like our number three pick, Pexels lets you choose the download size and you can even customize the size if you want. Pexels should be familiar to those of you that watched our video discussing the best stock video websites. It has an excellent selection of stock video in both HD and 4K. Pexel's license is as straightforward as it gets, giving you the freedom to use their content for just about any purpose with very few restrictions. In the top spot, coming in at number one, our favorite free stock photo website is Pixabay. It's the site we've used the most over the years on various projects. With more than two and a half million photos, vectors, and illustrations, all of which are high quality, you're likely to find what you're looking for on this website. When downloading an image, they give you various sizes to choose from to best suit your needs. They're also a great resource for HD and 4K videos if you need B-roll for YouTube or some other purpose. The Pixabay license is simple to understand. All content is free for both personal and commercial use. No attribution is required, but of course it's always appreciated. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you use a free stock photo website not mentioned, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos for creators and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.